hey guys we're just uh, out on another hike enjoying the weather nice crisp morning <laughs> uh, about 30 degrees out here with the wind chill Four, uh, 41 in the sun <laughs> yeah it's a little bit nippy but it's still a nice beautiful day for a hike and enjoying my pipe as I said I was going to do a pipe tobacco and uh, what I'm chooching on today is Sutliff's Christmas Spice now it's really in the bag I got you know in bulk not in a tin so uh, it's very wet and I've noticed that sometimes depending on how I smoke it and things like that I can get some gurgling going on in the pipe uh, uh, it stays pretty well lit I think for the most part so I mean even though for being overly wet I mean I guess it would I don't even know <laughs> How long you would have to let it sit out for dry time because like i said it's very goopy you know i guess it's from all the flavoring and things it's a nice blend um to me it's got some interesting notes uh, notes of you know like nutmeg vanilla maybe some cinnamon you know it's hard for me to pull out the different nuances but there is something there and uh, what I'm doing today is I'm gonna cut the trail in half I think by taking this blue trail that way I'll have more time when I try to do uh, have a coffee in the woods see all right so we got that snow trail, Lebanon, 26 and a half miles. We're not going there, that's for sure. All right, so that's the way I went the last time. Here's the blue trail. This will take me to the lake as well. But like I said, it's like a intersecting point. So it cuts the trail in half. So instead of doing the full four miles, maybe I'll do three or two and a half. I don't know, we'll see. I, I have my tracker on to track me. But yeah, this is a really good blend. I mean, you know, we just had Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> the captain <laughs> has definitely got to work off that bird and stuffing. <laughs> and uh, all the uh, spirits that we've uh, had <laughs> over this long holiday weekend. So, I'm hitting the trail, trying to burn these calories. And again, I got work tonight, so as much as I want to just stay out here all, all day, hmm, we got another intersecting point. Okay, there's a bike trail for those of you who like to mountain bike. Okay, well, I guess there's a bike trail. And here I go this way. All right. So, I know you just saw my other video the other day about the Cooper's kits and, uh, you know, just catching up with that type of stuff. A lot of brambles here. This is a nice wide trail. You can see and tell that it's really maintained a lot of foot, foot traffic here, as you can tell. I don't know how wide it is. I got my full pack today. I, could, I should have weighed it. I really didn't need to start weighing my pack and see how much I'm really lugging. Now, if I were to go hike like this in the woods, I, I really, 
I don't think I got it in the mini anymore because I still have to hook on to my back, my sleeping bag, sleeping pad. It's a lot. It's probably about at least 75, 80 pounds total. That's the way I like to. Because, you know, worst thing to do is come out here and not have what you need. But it's pretty heavy when I have the sleeping bag. I have to invest in uh, maybe a better. I have obviously a military surplus, mummy style sleeping bag, not even the, the newer ones. We're talking like back from the 80s or 70s. Uh, you know, the mummy bag. But it's, it's done me good for camping all this time. I mean, but uh, who the hell am I kidding? Sorry about that, my camera got cut off where I couldn't see the picture from the glare from the sun so I thought it wasn't even recording but uh you know that, that uh sleeping bag has done me well but it's just so heavy there's nowhere because I have this what the M60 no 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 M65 uh it was my train of thought uh this old Alice pack but it's not even the lar large Alice it's, it's the uh, medium Alice so I can only put so much in it so I really couldn't maybe fit a, a compression sack inside one more thing besides the stove and whatever the hell else I got in there stove gas but yeah Another intersection by a fire trail. Brought the uh, the Gimli, <laughs> my dwarf Cobbit. one thing about these trails they are pretty uh windy windy and windy how do you say that zigzaggy <laughs> you know it's like left right it's almost like you're going around in a circle Alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy this pipe and listen to the sounds of nature. And I'll bring you back when uh you get to the spot to have coffee. Today, tasters nasties. Columbia. Oh yeah. Let's wait for this to come up the boil and enjoy some coffee. I could have put my pot in. Obviously, it's got a lid, but this is gonna take a little bit longer. There's the main road there. Trail. I couldn't find the other spot that I found last time that I was going to do it at. Uh, this is good enough though. Have a nice view. Got a bench. M and B. <laughs> J and S. 
The Captain and Hugo. <laughs> All right. I'm going to watch the pot boil. All right, there we go. Black gold. Oh, man, it's dark. All right, let's give it a sip. Oh, yeah. Now put some hair on your chest. Hmm. But you know what? Just in emergencies. <laughs> if this stuff still any good, I'm gonna add a little bit of this to dilute it a little bit. I know I normally don't take clean my coffee anymore, but when it's this strong, yeah, cat has gotta dilute it a little bit, you know. Cheers guys. Especially today, it was chilly. I'm pretty warm with my layers on. My legs are getting cold though, because I got, you know, but then, you know, we're hiking with, I could have wore my, uh, the matching pants to this jacket, the M65 field pants, but they're so layered up that uh, I sweated them when I hiked. You know, they're good like right now. Pack them and then put them on when you're sitting. But other than that, you can't hike with that on. I mean, unless it's a blizzard. All right, guys. Cheers. I'm gonna enjoy my uh, cup of coffee and the view. And I'll see you in a little bit to do my closing when we get back to the truck. Because it's the same trail that I showed you the last time on my live video. Hopefully the audio, you can hear me. I know it, when I switch the camera around to face me, the audio is shit. It just drops a degree. I don't know why. Something with the speaker. Oh, well. All right, guys. We're back at the truck. So I did about uh, 2.4 or 2.3 miles today. Like I said, that trail cuts it pretty much in half. Um, So, hey, it is what it is. You got, tra you got hiking, hiking for exercise and you go know, hiking for relaxation so uh, today was a relaxation hike <laughs> just a little short hike had some coffee in the woods had my pipe yeah life is good I'm definitely gonna come out again this week I don't know about this all the way out here or just stay local out by me we'll have to see uh, but I still love it out here coming out here it's the only place to really hike and really be out in the middle of nowhere you know some of the local trails they're pretty well established to where like you know you're bumping into somebody every two seconds you know hi how you doing hi how you doing you know sometimes you just want to be out here by yourself so all right back to the real world gotta leave the pines once again it's always sad <laughs> all right guys till we do it again my friends remember let's set sail <laughs>